Hello and welcome to Jani.tv. This is Janaki Ram. Today I want to walk you through one of my favorite tools, Perplexity's Copilot. So when I was at reInvent in December, I first heard about Perplexity. Arvind, who is the co-founder and CEO of Perplexity Labs, got on stage during the keynote at reInvent. I'd like to introduce one of the customers who is leveraging some of these latest SageMaker innovations and training their own, training and deploying their own models. Please join me in welcoming Arvind Srinivas, CEO and co-founder of Perplexity to the stage. At Perplexity, we strive to be the world's leading conversational answer engine that directly answers your questions with references provided to you in the form of citations. Our company is reimagining the future of search by trying to take us from 10 blue links to personalized answers that cut through the noise and gets to exactly what you want. Perplexity's Copilot is an interactive search companion. As you see, it starts with the general question that you had in your mind, digs deeper to clarify your needs, and after a few interactions with you, gives you a great answer. Ours is the first global publicly deployed example of generative user interfaces that reduces the need for prompt engineering. This is such a complex product to run and a hard problem to solve. Hence why we decided to go all in on AWS. We started off by testing frontier models like Anthropic's Cloud 2 on AWS Bedrock. Bedrock provides cutting edge inference for these frontier models. This helped us to quickly test and deploy Cloud 2 to improve our general question answering capabilities by providing more natural sounding answers. Cloud 2 has also helped inject new capabilities into Perplexity's product, like the ability to upload multiple large files and ask questions about their contents helping us to be the leading research assistant there is in the market. But Perplexity is not just a wrapper on top of closed proprietary large language model APIs. Instead, we orchestrate several different models in one single product, including those that we've trained ourselves. We built on top of open source models like Llama 2 and Mistral and fine tuned them to be accurate and live with no knowledge cut off by grounding them with web search data using cutting edge rack. This is when we started working with the AWS startups team on an Amazon SageMaker HyperBot POC. SageMaker HyperBot makes it easier to debug large model training and handle distributed capacity efficiently. We obtained AWS EC2 P4DE capacity for training. This enabled us to fine tune state of the art open source models like Llama 2 and Mistral. And once we moved to HyperPod, and enable AWS Elastic Fabric Adapter, we observed a significant increase in the training throughput by a factor of 2x. But it's not just training that we benefit from AWS. AWS has also helped us with customized service to support our inferencing needs, especially on P4D and P5 instances. And this helped us to build top of the market APIs for our open source models and our in-house models that have been fine tuned for helpfulness and accuracy. So today, we are excited to announce the general availability of all these models in the form of APIs, including the first of its kind live LLM APIs that have no knowledge cut off and are plugged into our search index, all fully hosted on AWS. Thank you. Generative AI is still in its nascent stages, and we still think we are at the beginning of what's going to be a glorious revolution for all of us, where the biggest winners are going to be you all, the consumers of the technology, where you get plenty of choices, great new product experiences, and competitive pricing. Perplexity is closing the research to decision to action loop even further, and we plan to get all our users to a point where you all take this for granted in the years to come. This is disruption and innovation at its prime. Perplexity strives to be the Earth's most knowledge-centric company. And we are glad here to be working with AWS so that no one here ever 
needs to go back to the 10 blue link search engine so that caught my attention and as soon as i came back i signed up for the pro account and started using their copilot honestly speaking i am so impressed that in the last month or so I have stopped using search engines like google and bing and completely switched my search experience to perplexity's copilot it's very interactive it's powerful it's up to date and it is very accurate now this tutorial has two parts first i want to walk you through the copilot and share what i really like about it and why i think it's one of the best copilots available in the market the second part is going to be more about the developer experience the api and how do you consume the models because perplexity labs also offers the model as a service api which you can consume and there are some unique models that perplexity has to offer so we'll explore that in the upcoming video but today i want to walk you through the copilot experience and share some of the features that i absolutely like so here is the perplexity copilot uh, experience once you sign in you can uh, start using the search so this is very similar to the way you use any other copilot but the difference here is you can enable an interactive experience or you can disable it for example without the copilot button turned on this acts like a typical llm chatbot but once you enable copilot the whole experience changes so what is special about this versus the other copilots well what i want to show you is if i have a question uh, which is very typical for example how do i go from hyderabad to mumbai and i turn on the copilot experience and uh, 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 run the query so it it first understands the question and then it basically prompts you on uh, uh, the mode of transportation do you want to go by air by train or by road and if you want to type something else uh, like walking <laughs> maybe you can actually uh, type that and and uh, click on send if you don't want to provide any options you can completely skip this but let's say you select by air and then send this is going to basically perform uh, a search maybe it is using google behind the scenes maybe it is invoking Ser uh, serp api but the best thing is it comes back and tells us precisely uh, how to get to mumbai from hyderabad it also talks about the duration uh, and sometimes even the cost uh, and the best thing about this is for every statement it makes it actually has a citation and you can explore the number of steps it has taken uh, in in uh, deriving this response so first it understands the question now this is very interesting because whatever you type in the text box there is basically sent to an llm and the llm uh, tells what else is needed to fulfill this uh, requirement for example when we when we actually said how do we go to mumbai from hyderabad we didn't really mention the mode of transportation but when you pass this to a capable llm uh, it is going to come back and tell you well to really figure out how to go from point a to point b you need to know the mode of transportation so that is what surfaces on the copilot and there you actually uh, see those options so you don't need to type you can actually select like we have seen and after that it basically invokes the search api and uh, it picks up the top search results so it basically found 24 resources uh, you can actually see all of them and very quickly it uh, scrapes the output or the response from each of those sources and then summarizes sends that as a context to the llm and then it comes back with the exact response that we need now this is very accurate and uh, very interactive so uh, if you are using any other copilot most of them are not capable of browsing the web unless you have uh, a subscription like chat gpt plus and then enable the browser plugin you cannot really get uh, interactive uh, uh, responses or uh, interactive queries where you can provide further input and and precisely get what you want so that is what i really like now let me show you one more uh, query uh, something like suggest an ideal diet plan for a rookie runner uh, which i am so when you actually ask this 
it is again sending this to the LLM and the LLM comes back and says, hey, to uh, really suggest an ideal diet plan, you need to know what is the goal. Uh, do you want to lose weight? Do you want to gain muscle? Or do you want to just boost your energy? So if you really uh, choose any of this and then again, click on send, it, it basically goes through the same workflow and very quickly comes back with the response. So this is the best of both. Uh, LLMs that are capable of performing reasoning and then the search engine that has wealth of information readily available. So uh, there are other uh, tools, for example, Google's uh, the generative search experience or search with generative experience comes very close, but I really like the way uh, the UX is designed. It's very clean and the best thing is you can even replace this uh, you can replace Google with this, with, with the uh, AI companion. So if you look at the settings, uh, I'm on a pro subscription, so I get to ask more questions. I get additional quota and uh, I can also choose models. Uh, for example, you can choose from OpenAI's GPT-4, uh, Anthropic's Claude 2.1, Gemini Pro, and there are uh, built-in uh, Perplexity's own LLMs that you can use. So that is one option uh, you get when you sign up as a, as a pro subscriber. And then uh, the other nice thing about being a pro subscriber is the API. So you actually get a $5 quota every month to perform API queries or API calls on uh, Perplexity's model as a service offering. So that's in the later part of the uh, demo, but this is pretty cool. I really like the way Perplexity has designed. Now, if you're wondering why this is unique and what is the technology behind this? Well, this is based on a technique, a paper called Fresh LLMs, uh, which I'll cover in the upcoming tutorial. But the idea is to, to combine the best of search and best of LLMs. So when you bring them together, you get reasoning capabilities from the LLM, the summarization capabilities from the LLM, but at the same time, you are able to make an outbound call, get the output from variety of online sources, and then precisely uh, get the response that you are looking for. So that is uh, Perplexity's co-pilot. Now, Perplexity has a couple of models that are very unique. They are called the online LLMs. So I'm going to cover them in the next video. Stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching.